Okay, so I'm gonna call that part one and be done with that. And I'm going to ask you to go get something that you can spin in a circle. Preferably something like this. It doesn't have to be heavy. It doesn't have to be um, really long. It can be, you know, a lanyard is perfect for this, but just something you can spin in a circle. If you've got a lanyard, tuck something onto it. If you got string, um, anything that you can spin in a circle. Do not do this with your power cord though. <laughs> I know it's tempting. It's like a nice thin power cord with a nice heavy thing. Don't use the power cord for anything. So go get that. And we're gonna play around with a vertical circle. The physics is the same for vertical and for horizontal. So what do we have? What I want you to do is I want you to spin this in a vertical circle. So give yourself some space. Wah! <laughs> So you, I want you to spin it in a vertical circle and spin it pretty fast if you can. Because what I want you to do is feel where in the circle is, does it feel heaviest? And where do you have to pull on it the most? Or is it, does it feel like the same all the way around the circle? So just spin it in a circle and where do you feel like the tug is the, the biggest, the tension in the lanyard or the string or whatever it is? Give it a try. So what I'm going to do now is think about a vertical circle. Let's think about the top and the bottom. So I want you to think about which one felt like it was heavier or pulled more. So now we're going in a vertical circle and I'm going to think about the forces acting at the top, the forces acting at the bottom. So at the top of a circle, what forces are acting on, in this case, the fob? Well, we always know the earth is pulling down, so we've got our mg going down, earth pulls down on us. What else is physically interacting with the fob, the lanyard? You might want to say I'm pulling on it, but I'm not actually touching the fob at all. It's the lanyard. So this I'm going to call the force of the lanyard, which since it's kind of a ropey thing, um, <laughs> ropey thing, we're going to call that tension because you might be doing this with a string or something like that. So the force of, in my case, the physical object was the lanyard. That's the tension. That's the thing keeping it moving in a circle. At the bottom, what do we have? Well, we still have the earth pulling down. When we're at the bottom of the circle, what direction is the lanyard pulling? So my tension is pulling up in that case. Is there anything else interacting with the fob? No. There's nothing keeping it going in the circle except inertia. It wants to keep going in a circle, and yet the lanyard, the string, keeps tugging it and changing its direction. So it ends up going in that, that circle. I'm sorry. I misspoke there. I, I said it wants to keep going straight. That's what I want to say. It wants to keep going straight, but the string tugs it, so it ends up moving in a circle. So what direction is the velocity? What direction is the acceleration for each of these? At the top, if it's going in this direction, velocity is tangential. So, and don't put this on your diagram. It's not a force, so we don't put it there. So the velocity at the top is going that way. Velocity at the bottom is going this way. The acceleration at the top, centripetal acceleration always points towards the center of the circle. So centripetal acceleration, downwards. Centripetal acceleration here is upwards. Okay, now we're just gonna do a basic force analysis. We're not gonna do the math. I'm not gonna put numbers to it because we actually don't need to. Newton's second law says that you add up all the forces, they have to equal mass times acceleration. Let's do that here. I'm going to do this as my standard coordinate system. So up is positive, right is positive. So that means I add up all the forces. I've got a negative tension, tension's pulling down. I've got a negative earth pull downward, and that equals mass times centripetal acceleration. What direction is the acceleration? That's downward too. Hmm, interesting, I got a lot of negatives. If I get rid of all those negatives, plus t, plus the weight, 
equals mass times centrifugal acceleration. So at the bottom, I'm sorry, at the top, this is we, what we have. So at the top, we've got that one. What's true at the bottom? So now I have a plus tension, because it's going up, negative mg equals mac, and in this case, the acceleration's up. Whoop, I don't know if you can see that. T minus mg equals mac. Okay, so this is at the bottom. Let's compare the tensions in those two. If I solve this for tension, tension is mac minus the weight. Here it is, tension is mac plus the weight. Which one of those is going to be bigger? Well, that one. It has to be. This is adding, adding them to, to, together. This one you're subtracting. So at the top or the bottom, which tension is going to be bigger? That one. Hopefully this is what you felt when you're swinging something in a circle. It's like, oh, it's hard at the bottom, and then it's easier at the top. Hard at the bottom, easier at the top. And this is because the tension at the bottom not only has to be exerting enough force to make it accelerate in the circle, but it also has to counteract that weight force. Whereas here, the tension is being helped by the weight in order to cause that downwards acceleration. And so this is just a basic force analysis of a vertical circle, top and bottom. And what you see is at the bottom, the T is the biggest, and at the top, T is gonna be the smallest. If you think about the in-between bits, um, I get the side, then the tension is this way, and the weight is this way, and that tension is pretty much doing all the work. We can ignore the weight because it's perpendicular. So tension is biggest at the bottom, smallest at the top, and this is why. All right, that is an introduction to uniform circular motion. I hope this one was helpful. And if you didn't have a chance to actually go swing something in a circle, find something. Feel that. Feel like, oh my gosh, the tension really is bigger at the bottom. It is easy to do at the top. So go try it if you haven't. Have some fun and enjoy circular motion.